You know, at first I wasn't comfortable with fighting, but recently I've gotten quite used to it. Oh yeah? Well, you have been fighting a lot, huh? It looks like you're still wasting energy with some unnecessary movements, though. I always try hard to think of what I should do next, but somehow I just can't get things right. Maybe you're thinking too hard? If you fought more on a gut level, your body might respond more fluidly. On a gut level? I see. So I just need to follow my instincts. You think maybe she misunderstood what we were saying? Maybe, but I think she'll figure things out. Oh wow, what is... Just like tendrils? Alright, I don't... It's not moving. Alright, well let's head to Aspio so we can get Rita. Probably head to her hut, I assume. Seeing the Autofagos just there in the sky, it's horrible. Yeah, to think that catastrophe from the legend was hidden up there all along, it's creepy. It just showed up in the sky out of nowhere. All the people must be so worried. I'd rather see what we're up against than let it grow out of control somewhere hidden away. Your spirit is amazing, Judith. It might be a good thing to have the danger right out in front of us, though. It'll bring together people who'd never get along otherwise. True. When you can no longer deny the Autophagos exists, all that's left is to face it. You're right. Eureka! Oh, Rita! Yuri is... We're more invisible to her than a camouflaged cuttlefish. It seems like she's blind to everything but her research right now. I can't really blame the people here for treating her like such a weirdo. She looked so happy. She must have discovered something. I hope so. Let's go and see. Okay. I'm gonna keep the cam off because I assume we'll go right into another cutscene. Hmm. We should be able to calculate the force field stability coefficient. So... Rita? We can make a key formula. Efficiency is okay. Making a stable non-dispersing piece should be... Hey, Rita! What? Don't bother me! Huh? Oh, it's you. How did you get into... Wait, you're... Hi. Where the hell were you? I looked all over for you, you know. Ah, uh, sorry about that. <sighs> well, whatever. I don't have time to argue about that. I have something very important to talk to Estelle about. To Estelle? I may have found a way to control the behavior of air. Really? That's great, Rita! I learned lots of things when I investigated Zaude. Like, how we might be able to apply the techniques used there. However... That is related to Estelle's power as a child of the full moon? We need to interact with the air to make it recombine freely according to a formula. This is something only Estelle can do. If only I hadn't given Dane Nomos back. Did you meet Duke? Yeah, he saved me. Well, he said it was so he could recover the sword. That sword's different from the Child of the Full Moon. I doubt it could be a substitute. But that control formula you used on Estelle, that was to control the power of the Child of the Full Moon, wasn't it? Yeah. So if we're going to control the air with this theory, we have to release the control formula on Estelle. So, if everything goes right, we control the air. But if we screw up, the air will get even worse and the world will fall to the Autophagos. Is that about right? That's quite a bold plan. Aye, it's a plan as bold as jellyfish stuck in shallow waters. God damn it, Patty. Uh, sure. Let's go with that. Anyway, I'm sure it'll be fine. Estelle, believe me. Lend me your power. 
<sighs> Are you scared? No, I'm happy. I might still be able to use my power to help others. Rita, please let me know if there's anything I can do. So what exactly do we need to do? Well, I'm not completely finished working everything out. Give me a little more time. Okay, we'll go see Carol and Raven while you figure things out. Great! I'll go too. I've got all the materials I need in my head. I'll let you know when I work it all out. All right, me hearties! Let's get going! Ooh, if he was safe, the least he could have done is let us know. That idiot. Yeah, if we'd known he was okay, we wouldn't have wasted all this time looking for him. But we wouldn't have known he was alright if we hadn't looked. Which is why he should have let us know in the first place. I mean, we looked all over. We'd be too worried about him if we hadn't. You were really worried, weren't you, Rita? What? Thank goodness you're safe, Yuri. Yes, I'm so glad. And just look how happy Rita is. Hap! Are you happy? Ugh. So we get Rita back. Here's a journal, right? Okay, home sweet Dongress, so I assume that's where we're going now. Just not moving as we fly towards it, okay? Alright, so Don dressed here, over that. A method for controlling the air, huh? I hope it goes okay. Yeah. If it doesn't, we'll have to keep our end of the bargain with Pharaoh. Oh. So, shouldn't we stop it right away? There's no real hurry. I'm sure they'll do fine. Yeah, they can handle this. <laughs> I have faith in them now. completely out of apple shell. <laughs> yeah, I just I think I'm coming up on the end game. Uh kind of the rush to the end and so it's just going to be cutscene having Damn, probably. why did I have to do it? That was the Dawn's grandson, Harry, right? Oh! Yuri! I can't believe you! You should have told me you were alive! <laughs> Sorry for worrying you. But I'm back. Well, aren't you tough? <laughs> That's my boy. Yuri was my boy first. I ain't handing him over to you, Patty, darling. <sighs> if you're both done messing around, we just saw Harry. Did something happen to him? Uh, there's been just a teensy bit of trouble. 
The Union's kind of a ship without a captain right now. So the people won't come together unless there's some kind of core. Core! That's it! What's it? I've got it! Apatheia! It'll work if I use Apatheia! So even if the air stability coefficient keeps changing, if I connect one of those... Hold on, forget the explanation. We wouldn't understand it anyway. Oh, okay. The Apatheia we gave to the Dawn should still be around, right? That was Belius' Apatheia, the Cyanosiel. Rita's found a way to control air! Really? Cool! Do you know what happened to the Cyano CL after the Dawn died? Um, nope. What about Harry? Shouldn't he know, being the Dawn's grandson and all? Good timing, too. I was just about to take him back. Go to the Union headquarters. We'll be back there soon. Yeah, it's anywhere from like 30 to 40, uh, 30 to 50 hours is kind of that sweet spot. For RPGs, there's been a lot that have been in the 20 to 30 range recently. Uh, and then some that are in like the 100 hour range. Uh, but yeah, 30 to 50 is usually that sweet spot. The atmosphere is kind of strange. Yeah, the Union is falling apart. Because nobody wants to step in to take the Don's place. And the Don's heir ain't quite up to it. Come on, don't hang back now. I was the one who led Grandpa to his death. Someone like me could never become a man like the Don was. Nobody's saying you gotta become a man like the Don was. We're just saying you should at least show up to the succession meetings. Hey, do you have the Don's epithea? We'd appreciate it if you could give it to us. Wow, that was quite a fastball, Rita. That apatheia belongs to whoever succeeds the Dawn. It's not given to outsiders. What? Well, when will they choose a successor? I don't know. Don't ask me. Well then, who should we ask? That boy's a real piece of work. Who's gonna protect the city if the Union isn't? What? That would be our guild, of course. Talking of whose guild? I know that you sent in your Clouds of Dawn members to Zod. The Union has never been outstripped by the Empire. We cannot sit here and risk falling behind. I say it was imprudent. It could have been taken as the Union's hostile act against the Empire. In that case, we would defend our honor on the battlefield. And who will be leading the battle? The Clouds of Dawn? If the Dawn got wind of that, he'd burst out laughing. So why don't you boys in Altos throw your hat in the ring? Maybe then we'd see just how unpopular you really are. This is ridiculous. Continue as you please till the world comes to an end. But don't bring up a war between the guilds. This isn't a joke. Hey, I've got a great idea. Let's just set a bit of driftwood in the Dawn's chair. A hard existence being worn down by the waves lends it the exact same air of dignity. My, how ingenious. Yeah, you just keep talking. It's all right to be helped by your friends. Protect your friends and they'll respond in kind. That was the last thing that the Dawn said to me. Carol. What? Who's this kid? I can't do anything by myself, but I have my friends. Because my friends are there for me, I can do anything. They're still there for me, even now. Why isn't that good enough for the Union? The boy is right. The best thing that the guilds ever had was their ability to help each other. There is always a way to deal with things, even if you aren't some great big leader. The Don told you that from now on, you have to walk with your own feet. You know how to walk on your own feet, don't you? Uh, uh, you make it sound so easy, but actually... Let's go. I'm gonna get sick if I have to stay here any longer. Hey, you, wait up! <sighs> what about the Apatheia? 
If you've got enough spare time to be hanging around those idiots, you'd be better off using it to think of another plan. Another plan? It's not that easy. You'll be able to come up with something if you just don't sleep for three days. Why is it on me? Here. Are you giving this to us? No, this is going to be stolen. What do you mean? I owe you one. Get a move on before the others realize it's gone. To what do we owe this generosity? I don't know. Maybe it just left a bad feeling in my stomach to get lectured by a kid like that. Maybe there's some hope for that boy after all. So, now that we've gotten the Apathea, what's next? Next up, we're going to the Zophair Rift. I'm going to use the unactivated air crene that's there. The Rift? We're going someplace cold again? Mind if old Raven waits here? You'd rather be cold than have the world be destroyed, wouldn't you? Let's go. I'm so glad Yuri's okay. Horror! Are you kidding? The Atafagos, the whole world going nuts? There's no way that kid would miss this. You weren't worried, Raven? Eh, maybe just a little. But guys like him keep getting up, no matter what happens, so... Nah, I wasn't too worried. <laughs> you really believe in Yuri, don't you, Raven? Horror! Ah, oh, you're gonna make this old man blush. <laughs> Thank you so much, Brady chan and uh, have a good night. Uh, thanks for uh, the biddies there. Oh, wait, that's the wrong turn. Okay, to Zophia. <laughs> You're all good. Don't worry about it. Have a good night. I hope you will come back. Uh, I'll probably be streaming again next Monday. Um, I'm in the process of moving, so... Uh, trying to cut back to just one stream a week during that. Doesn't all that fighting ever make you tired, Yuri? Nah, I've got you here to heal me if I get hurt, after all. But getting hurt and getting tired are different. Don't you ever run out of energy? Hmm, I'd say swinging my sword gives me more energy rather than taking it away. You're like an over-energetic kid who runs around until he passes out. Of course, I've got more energy than a kid, so I can make that much more mischief. Ah, youth. I'm out of breath with just one swing. I wish I could go back to my younger days. Talk about pathetic. Don't worry. Won't be long before you're in the same boat as me, kid. <laughs> I don't think that's too funny, old man. Well, until then, you can just sit and suffer in admiration of my youthful energy. That's the first time I've ever heard of someone suffering in admiration. Come on. Come get me, ship. There we go. I didn't want to fight super weak enemies. Alright, so this is our fear. It's gonna be over here. Oh, there it is. Can I land? Closer over here. It sucks we can't land on the snow. <laughs> Watch my back. Oh, I forgot to put Reed in my party. I'll do that after this battle. That was so easy. There we go. 
Rita, last night you were saying the strangest things in your sleep. What was it? Come on, tell me! Hey, don't go telling weird stories about me. You were chanting magic spells. So what? That's not scandalous or anything. Shut up! What were you expecting, anyway? Rita, I think all this fighting we've been doing is getting to you. Rita, you were so cute saying spells in your sleep. What are you talking about? But I have to say, I was pretty surprised when the spell actually worked. Seriously? You see, Rita, you should really get a little more rest. How much of that was true and how much of it was a total lie? Oh, I've never been very good at lies. Damn it. I don't care what rock you crawled out from. Bring it. Every day they learn new skills because they're never going to fight in battle. That was so easy. Judith, you always go right for the enemies, don't you? Yes, you never hesitate at all. <laughs> You're a juggernaut. Huh? What does that mean, Yuri? It means she charges like a boar. A juggernaut means something that has so much inertia that it can't be stopped or redirected. Huh. Hey! Judith's gone! <laughs> Sorry, I'm back now. Where did you go, Judith? Oh, I thought I saw something. Seems like it wasn't a monster after all. That instinct of yours to attack anything that moves reminds me of a wolf. Let's go in, save. There we go. Oh, it's gold, gold, gold. So gold, 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 gold. So, what are you going to do with the air crane? I'm going to use the energy to make an air converter. An air converter? My plan is to efficiently convert the air into matter, decreasing the overall amount of air. But for that, it's ideal to have the converter use energy similar to both air and matter. How is that energy different from air? Elementally separated air transitions into matter in stages and eventually becomes stable. I'm going to stop its transition between the two states and develop a converter formula. So it won't be air or matter? It's a state that's closer to matter than to air, but it's still not quite matter. We call it mana. Mana. To think that one short utterance could hold more gravity than the light used to lure fish out of the frigid sea at night. It actually has a really long, complicated name, but mana's good enough. But it'll still be less stable than actual matter, so we'll need something to act as a core. The Epithea. And a lot of air and Estelle's power to recombine the formula. Using my power without the control formula will unbalance the air. It'll just flood out again. But we can't just sit here and ignore that thing. And... Yeah? It's a bet I'm willing to take. I guess I should be the one trying to stop you, but... I'm game to get in on this bet, too. I... I'll wager a billion gold on that. The theory is correct. It'll be okay. I'll return this billion gold to you many times over. Oh, truly now? Yep. Come on, let's head to the Air Creme. It's freezing. I think there's a cabin or something where we can get out of the cold. I don't think anyone would build a cabin on top of a sheet of ice. If we just had some fire... Oh yeah, Rita! Use your magic to give us some fire, would you? <laughs> what am I, a walking matchbox? And besides, using it on you would be a waste of air. What's the big deal? Weren't you just using it over and over again just a little while ago? That was to defeat enemies. What would you want me to set on fire anyway? 
Hmm, you've got a pretty muscular body. Huh? Well, I mean, with the guilds and the knights and all, it's a lot of work. Doesn't look like there's enough fat to burn very well. <laughs> That's too bad. Huh? Hey! <laughs> Okay, now we gotta walk our way back to the air crime. Looks like monsters are a little bit different. Watch my back. Maybe we got a few monsters here that are powered up compared. Man, I want some more. I tell you, thinking of a converter for air, you're quite the thinker. That's our genius mage girl, Rita. Yep, yep. Well, I had a hint to go off of. Come to think of it, you did say you'd investigated Zod, didn't you? Despite its amazing size, it wasn't running off of air. Even though it was a barrier blastia to protect the entire world. A barrier blastia? Oh yeah, they were protecting the world from the Autophagos. You mean to say it's been there for a millennium? It's as dogged as a philosophizing anemone. Same goes for the Autophagos. It's been clinging to that barrier for just as long. Alexei seemed to believe Zod was a weapon. But he couldn't have been more mistaken. But the runaway air was the cause for the Autophagos awakening, wasn't it? Ah, so that's why they would use a barrier running on power other than air. But then, what sort of power was it using? The children of the full moon, perhaps? It was actually energy taken straight from them. Inside that giant core, it continued to power Zod as a virtually perpetual formula. Most likely, the energy was taken in exchange for their lives. The light of life was extinguished from the children of the full moon. So that's what Miorso's legend meant. According to Duke, they did it of their own free will. They wanted to save the world. The love the children of the full moon bore for this world is what created the barrier. The power of love makes you want to cry. They sacrificed themselves for the world. The children of the full moon were protecting us the entire time. Huh? Are you catching a cold, Estelle? No, it's just... I've been so cold ever since I saw Rita use that water magic of hers. That's terrible! Are you sure you're okay? Now it's both of you? You should just tell Rita to stop using that kind of magic. I can hear Rita already. I'll decide what type of magic I use, thank you very much. Oh, come on. If we tell her that we might be coming down with colds, I'm sure she'll... What's that? Something about me? <laughs> hey, you catch a cold too? Maybe someone's talking about me behind my back. <laughs> <laughs> That's Rita for you. Well, that's a new enemy. A little snowman Focus face. On the enemy in front. I'm thinking of it. Was I a little hard on you? Merfolk. Just in case. Well, 
I'll come back, Mina. That monster's not going to show up again, right? If it does, you'll beat it up for us just like the last time, right? You're mean. Okay, I'm ready. Estelle, come over here. Now, I'll release the control formula. Once I do that, the air crene will react to you and produce more air. I want you to recompose the air formula into a stable formula closer to mana. Uh, um, I don't understand. Yeah, okay. The water element is strong here, so imagine flowing water and let your body flow with the air. The theory behind materializing air is the same as performing magic. If Estelle can recompose the air into a state close to mana, then I should be able to guide the air into the Cyanociel. Can we do anything? No. Go take a nap or something. We'd freeze to death if we took a nap here. We're pretty handy, you know. We can cook or fish or anything you want. Just tell us what to do. I wouldn't say anything. We can use the conversion formula we found in Zaude. That was for substituting life for air. Your life! You can't do that! But if this fails, then we'll all be swallowed up by a flood of air. We'll be dead anyway, right? We're all risking our lives. Let us help. All right. I'll use your life energy to guide the air into the Cyanociel. If we do that, I think Estelle will understand the flow of the air without interference from me. All right, everyone. Let's do this. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Why not? Ready, Estelle? Here we go. Everyone, come over here. Go ahead. Try and synchronize yourself with my formula. There, that's good. <sighs> what? Take your notes. Right to the left on top landing color. Um, this is such a dumb mini game. Also kind of sucks having to remember where buttons are, because every system has different controls. The air is collecting in the cyanocell. The formula is working. The force field is stable. It's gonna be okay. Uh, uh. Did it not work? No, it's still under control, but what is this? A formula for reshaping the Apatheia? It's reformulating itself!
What? That voice. Bellius? Judith? Yes. It is I, Bellius. Or rather, I was once Bellius, but no more. What's going on here? Could the will of Bellius trapped in the Apatheia have... Amazing. I feel the waters of the world at my command. I am the ruler of the waters. Okay. So, did it work? It's gone way beyond working. I never thought it would gain a will of its own. Nature's mysteries will forever transcend the limited scope of our imagination. Yeah, I'd have to agree with you on this one. Humans? What creature am I? Though no longer Bellius, the Intellicaea, you have granted life to me. I ask that you give me a name. A being that controls the essence of a material. Maybe you're a spirit. Wait. Then wait, spirits are a thing in all Tales games, right? And so my name shall be... The Splishy Splashy Watercolor Queen! God damn it, Carol. An ancient word for the ruler of the waters. How about Undine? Undine. Henceforth, I shall be known as the Spirit Undine. Ah, I feel the power swell within me. Such as the benefit of the air which you saw fit to gather for me. It wasn't any cakewalk either. Receive this now as token of my thanks. Okay. Undini, we need to get the world's air under control. Please lend us your power. Did Yuri just mispronounce it? <laughs> Very well. However, my powers alone will be insufficient. Huh? I control only the waters. You must gather those who rule the other elements as well. The elements of earth, water, wind, and fire. We need at least three more. We'll need help from the other Entelikea, won't we? Aye. There are very few Entelikea left. Pharaoh, Gusios, and Baul. Not Baul. He hasn't taken in enough air to create an apatheia. And on top of that, I won't allow it. Undine, do you have any ideas? The shining forest of Ariolumen and Reloise, the root of the world. Your friend Baul should know the location of these places. She disappeared! No, she is here. I feel her. It seems like the air crane has quieted down too. Even though we're not controlling Estelle's power. Really? So, Undine is controlling Estelle's power? You mean Estelle is really free? Yes. Yes! That's great, Estelle. Well, things are sure taking a turn for the strange. Yeah, I never would have dreamed any of this would happen. But we finally see the light at the end. It's a pinprick, but as welcome as the rays of sun that pierce into the ocean's depths. <laughs> Rita, you look... happy. So do you, Yuri. There's no longer anything shackling Estelle. She can use her power without causing any harm to herself or unbalancing the air. So yeah, I'm happy. Estelle's really free! There's no guarantee she won't overdo things again, though. We'll just watch her closely. If we don't, she might go back to healing people till she keels over. 
Okay, so what are we supposed to do now? We got a head start. Let's take care of him quick. Dragon! Why did you not do the way? Get up. Are you done already? Okay. Also, how do you pronounce that name, Mina? Because when I've saw it before, I've always pronounced it Undyne. Okay, so we pronounce it the same way. But I think I think even in uh, Zillia they pronounced it Undine. Or Undine. I don't know. It was always weird to me. But like getting this spirit just makes me think of Mila. Is Undine really here? Yes. I can't really explain it, but she is here. I can sense it. Perhaps she dwells within Estelle. Well, she was created through Estelle, so maybe the two are connected. Very interesting. Hey, save the research for later, okay? I know, I know. You don't have to... W what was that just now? Isn't that where? It came from the direction of Zaude. No. Has Zaude stopped working? Uh-oh. Do you think we might have done something to set this off? That is the true catastrophe. That thing does look like it could eat the whole world. What are we supposed to do about something like that? It's a touch too big to fillet with just my kitchen knife. Hey, Rita, Duke said the Autophagos was born from air. Huh? So if the spirits convert air into matter, could we do something about the Autophagos if we had enough spirits? I don't know. I just... I don't know. But I do think it's worth a try. Let's try it, Yuri. Then it's settled. Baul! Yes, I see. Thank you. The servants of the Atafagos are attacking a city, Nordapolica. <gasps> I guess we can't ignore something like that. Let's go. Ooh! I'm gonna hurt that idiot who brought the Atafagos back! What could have happened at Zaude? Those nutjobs probably fiddled with the thing too much and broke it. Thanks to Alexei, Zaude's no longer functioning like it was meant to. Greed always eats itself. That wouldn't be a problem if there weren't other victims. This guy just never learns, does he? Things are gonna have to hit bottom before he consider changing his ways. But they see that thing about to eat the planet, right? Even an idiot would understand the situation. I sure hope so. Okay, so 
so I can't call the ship here. Um. I feel like an easy win. I guess I'll go yeah, easy is on there, them. Are there ties between Tales of Zillia and Vesperia? Like any connections? I don't know, just the creation of spirits just feels like it would play into the storyline of Zillia. That was so easy. You sure do like walking around outdoors. Who are you talking to? <laughs> just myself. Going senile now, huh? We've just been wandering around outside for quite a while now. It might be a nice change of pace sometimes to collect materials for synthesis. And we have Baul, too. We could use him to fly around and collect them a lot faster. You're saying we should get help from Baul? Yeah, I think that Baul probably wants to help all of us with what we're doing. Of course, it's your call whether to collect materials for synthesis or just wander around. Seriously, who are you talking to? <laughs> Damn it, I just want to get back to the grass. Man, could you be any weaker? Don't get cocky. Yeah, I remember Undyne being in uh, Zillia. I also remember... Was it the mage character? Somebody pronouncing her name really weird. Where it sounded kind of like dirty every time she cast a spell. All right, here we go. Yeah. Almost to the grass. Man, could you be any weaker? I guess I'll go easy on them. It is nice that when you over level enemies, so they start dealing like no damage. That was a nice little break. There we go. It's Nordopolica. Nordopolica. Is... Here, I might as well clear up the ship. Or the map while I'm flying over this. Right, there's Nordopolica. Let's go. go back to ship mode. How can we not dock? We have to... We can't dock. Okay. Look! It's hanging on to the city! That black thing. That's what we saw in the sands of Kogor. That was Pharaoh's vision. This is real. Be careful. It looks like it's trying to eat the air of the shield. Is the Atafagos drawn to air? This thing looks pretty mean. It may be, but it's what we've caught on our line. We'll reel it right in. Come on. We're gonna over limit right off the bat. We'll just hang out for a minute. Oh my god, just let me get up. I'm in noise mode. Dragon! 
This as well. Oh my god. Menu's not wanting to work. Down. from fire. Alright, let's go check it out. I can do even better than this. That's the logical outcome. Ooh. Hold your position. We're gonna stop them here. Things getting wild around here. Y you were. I guess I'm saved again. It seems that this was the only city to be attacked. What bad luck. This isn't about luck. Where were you, Rita? I went to check the barrier Blastia. Its power had been raised. And I guess the monsters were drawn to it. The power is returned to normal now. We thought raising the power would protect us. But it turned out to be the opposite. I'll go see the citizens. Feel free to rest here as long as you please. Thanks for the offer, but we still have business to do. We better get moving. You are all welcome at any time. Try stopping by when you have the time. Thanks. Ew! I can't believe the Autofagos could spawn such a disgusting monster! The illusion Pharaoh showed us. He was trying to make us feel the power of the Autophagos. But it's no illusion this time. Oh man, are hordes of these things just gonna attack everything? <laughs> ow, ow! Hey, no fighting! It's all right, Repeat. He's just a little nervous, that's all. And what's wrong with being a little nervous? I'm not gonna run away or anything, I swear! <laughs> Okay, so what are we supposed to do now? Can't go in this. <laughs>
So he's drunk. Okay, we're going to save. 